Peekaboo. Welcome. It's time for a shave. Time for a review. I'm finally gonna try the Hanson. I bought me a Hanson. This is the medium, medium aggressive version, not the mild one. I had to buy it all the way from Canada because they are out of stock in Sweden, as I know. Uh, I am gonna load it with a, uh, with a, if I can open this one. It's a lovely mechanique and finish. Aluminium. I'm gonna load it up with a Oscar blade. I like those. And we have finally released our new single. It's called Eluri Liten Fan. It's on Spotify and uh, all the other musical platforms. Don't hesitate. Listen to our new single with Tistel, Lurig Liten Fan. Okay, here we go. The Warsco Blade. Oh, it's lovely. I can feel the blade on the on the side, on the sides, and the alignment just looks perfect, doesn't it? Uh, I'm going to use pre-shave. I don't usually use pre-shave. I'm not so fond of it actually. But uh, today I'm going to use pre-shave. A little bit of pro rosso pre-shave. I had me a very interesting discussion yesterday with a man on the Swedish auction site Tradera. His name is David, but he goes by the name Acheron or Acheron. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Very interesting. He started witchiving when he was 25 years old. It surprised me actually. Of course there are young men and maybe women that do Wet shaving, but I don't care so much about uh, young people who are into wet shaving. Not, uh, not the ones that are in the twenties. We had a very uh, interesting discussion. Uh, I'm going to use this soap. Three P mm, has got a lovely almond smell, and it lathers up so good with my Yaki 30mm brush, synthetic. Uh, he has now got a uh, razor, safety razor for auction, a Matador Micro, a vintage one, which is adjustable. Oh, a lovely piece. It's new, brand new, and in its original package. Uh, unfortunately, it cost it will cost uh, too much money for me. I can't, I can't buy that one. I, I don't think so. And I'm also going to a long journey next next uh, Saturday. I am going to New Zealand. Mm. It's fun when you find people that you can talk wet shaving with. Yeah. It's very funny. And we were talking about uh, collecting stuff and using stuff different. And it struck me when I speak to people about wet shaving. It's a very fine line between, I, I, I can go to myself, am I a collector or, uh, I don't know how to say, but sometimes I, I say to myself, am I just collecting or, or what's it all about, this kind of wet shaving thing? And the more I think about it, of course it is about having a great time for yourself. It's fun. Uh, you're taking care of yourself. Uh, 
in a very nice way and uh, it is fun to try different soaps but I really try not to buy too many stuffs although I do so it's hard not to be a collector it is it's a rabbit hole as Ken Burns says Ken Burns okay here we go I have great expectations in this one I can feel there is a blade exposure here and it tells me to be a little bit careful I have a two days growth I'm never gonna buy a mild version of the handsome because that would be too expensive but I would like to compare actually. I am... While I'm doing this, I am very careful. Light hand, no pressure. It's Saturday today, as I said, but it's... It's a mixture of rain and snow outside and windy. Unfortunately, lately in Skogos where I live, there's been so many, much criminality. Yesterday, they, if I'm, I don't know about all the facts, but my son told me it was about 20 minutes after I was in the centrum. Uh, police cars came and they went into apartment, I think. And he lately read that someone has hold a young girl hostage or kidnapped. I don't know. And I think it was three weeks ago, a young, a young man, 15 years old, was shot to death in our small sushi restaurant. What is that? It's crazy. And they captured the murderer and he was 15 years as well. Smooth. Oh. Feels good. It does feel good. And this is a new blade. Sometimes, you know, sometimes new blades can feel a little bit rough. Well, the first pass wasn't overwhelming effective. Let's have some more of this great soap. Oh, I would hope there was any uh, aftershaves that the tree piece done, no, some cologne or something. They are doing a uh, post-shave uh, balm, I think, and this soap only. It's a lovely product. Well, let's talk about something that's more fun than criminality. Our new single. Well, it's been over a year that, well, since we have released any new music, me and Thomas. And the most fun with this one is that my good old friend, he was a drummer in um, one of my first bands. We were called Troubleshooters. He's singing harmonies on this one. And we actually, it almost took us uh, a year before he could come home to me and do the vocals, the harmonies. 
but it was well worth the wait. Historist. Historist. Nej, snyggt. Sen kommer några här som jag vill att du ska köra på. Ja. Den här. Vad tror du om det? Vi får se att du ska ta ner den. Vi kan testa. Man kan testa lite. Det, 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 ja. det finns ett antal liksom, olika alternativ. Här är Så här såg han ut 1986, han som sitter här nu. <laughs> det är inte klokt. Det är ganska lis. Ja, det är roligt att du är här. Kul. Vi kör, kör igen. Ja, gör det. That's fun. Okay. Uh, second pass. It's a very light. Ah, uh, here we go. It's a very light razor. It's made of aluminium. Let's rinse. Here we go. Now it's happening. Taking it very easy. It's so creamy the soap, so I have to rinse the razor. Yeah, this is not dance. So for you, there are you in dance radio station. Well, next Saturday, I'm off to New Zealand with my wife. We are going to visit our daughter and granddaughter and her fiancé. Uh, it's actually on the other side of the world. It is. I don't know if you can get far away from Sweden than to New Zealand. I doubt. And we're going to live on the wonderful island, Waiki, which is outside Auckland. And if you Google and ask about, I always seem to cut myself here, uh, the world's most beautiful places, Waiki usually is amongst the 10. 10 most beautiful places on the earth. So, we are really looking forward to it. But what racer am I going to have with me? Oh, Christian. How will I choose? How am I going to do? What a problem. Right now I would like to take this one with me, but I don't dare. It's too expensive. If anything happens with my luggage. But this one is light. It's so creamy, the soap. Uh, maybe, maybe I should have some more water. It almost clogs when I'm shaving. It's like I don't reach my bristles, but that's my own fault. I could use some more water instead. Is this a an effective razor? Have some water. Yes, it is. It's very effective. Is this jazz? It's supposed to be the jazz channel. It, it's not even fusion, I think. Okay. Quite good music, anyway. Do I really have to do any more adjustments? I am not disappointed. This was a great buy. The handsome medium version, it suits me perfectly. It suits me perfectly. 
I'm going to rinse now. <laughs> I've got shave soap on my shoulders. I got shave soap all over. Um, okay, I'm going to use my uh, Latoka after shave bomb. Favorite of mine. Really favorite of mine. There we go. Mm. What a great shape, folks. What a great shape, folks. Ah. Mm. Mm. It burns a little bit, this one. And I don't know if it's. It says that it has minerals from. From a. Uh, oh certain place I don't know where from in Spain I'm just thinking of is it, it could it be salt anyway it's a very pleasant it's a tiny tiny burn and it's a very pleasant smell scent and it's just perfect the creaminess the fatness uh, mm, I love it now I'm going to show you something. You know how it is? You're on uh, the internet, on websites with uh, wet shaving products, and you're looking on the sale sites. I was doing that a week ago or something, and then I said to myself, oh, this one. I'm going to buy that one. It was cheap. It was on sale. What a scam. What a lousy product, I think. The aftershave lotion. Well, immediately, it smells good, but it doesn't last for more than 20 minutes. So, if you want something, a smell, a scent that lasts, don't buy this one. Don't buy that one. Uh, another product that I bought uh, that was on sale was this one, Rosa Rock Chicago, an aftershave splash. And I I'd, uh, said to myself when I bought it, this is a splash, so probably... The other Portuguese one is more concentrated, but I'll, I would like to try this one. It was very cheap, actually. But this one lasts. Here you have some concentration in it. And um, it's the first Rosa Rock uh, aftershave that I bought. I have two uh, Rosa Rock uh, razors, I think. So here we go. Let's finish up with this one. Mm. 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 You know I'm lousy when, I, when it comes to describing scents or... But I can... I think it smells a little bit of orange. Ah, mm, it's a lovely smell. It is. Let's have some more. It's Saturday. It is Saturday. This one I can recommend. <laughs> and uh, I can recommend this one, the 30mm Yaki. And I can recommend the 3P Shave Soap. If you're into almond, if you like almond scent, oh, it's lovely. And it is very good, lubricating, creamy. And this razor. Perfectly. It's such a nice piece, and I know now why so many wet shavers are talking about the Hansen. I am satisfied. Now, folks, please go into Spotify and listen to our new single, Tistel, with the song Lurig Liten Fan. And thank you for being with me. I hope to see you again soon and I hope the next review will be from New Zealand. I'm gonna be there uh, we're gonna be there three weeks so probably my next review will come four or five weeks five weeks from now I think and I'm going to sit outside I hope um, thank you once again hope to see you soon again goodbye